right, so we have four white ash logs to try to cut up today. See how far we get. Late afternoon now. We're sitting here, so we're gonna throw them up in the middle. See what we can get. It's the four bottom ones there. The ones a little tough to see, but see this first one we're gonna grab. The biggest is uh, has a little bit of bow to it. It'll be tough to get some straight boards, but we'll do our best. Um, but these uh, these logs I picked up from uh, the neighbor. We cut down some white ash trees that were in his way, so. Um, we took the trucks, the rest he used for firewood, but got uh, two eight-foot sections and two seven-foot sections, so we're going to take them over to the mill and uh, see how many boards we can get out of them. So we have the log up on the deck now. Get the measurement. Yeah, about 13 and a half. Pretty square. Be right about eight foot. Yeah, right around eight foot. Yeah, this is the, the very base, the trunk. Um, that's more like 15. This is a small end here, which is fine. You can see the log has some uh, shape to it. It's not uh, it's not straight by any means. But this plane here is the one I want to cut it in. You can see the boards are not going to be straight for the whole eight foot, but I think uh, kind of like this, we can always cut in the middle, get two nice four foot sections that are straight. Um, or if I have a project where I need something uh, like a river table or something like that with a curve, um, these will definitely be the boards. Okay, time for the fun part and see uh, see what it looks like. Got two cuts in. This top one's not very far at all.
Looks like we got a nice piece. Definitely has some shape to it. As far as the grain and the uh, lack of bug damage, a little bit of bug damage here. Not much at all. It's a, a very usable piece. And we're going to keep going. I'm cutting this at um, 5 quarter. I'm going to keep slabbing it out at 5 quarter and uh, go from there. So three more nice cuts down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking the slabs off and stacking them to the side and then I go ahead and flip the whole log um, and start cutting from what's now the bottom. Alright so we got to something more interesting here. So this tree, um, it's an ash tree, had the uh, ash borers, insects that uh, ended up killing the tree. I think um, this is evidence of that here. Certainly you can see in the outside of the bark some uh, marks, distinctive marks. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty neat looking. Something different. Kind of cool, uh, especially over here, that little little section of it. But other end of that, um, it's straight, but this is at the very uh, trunk of the tree here. Looks like that's where they attacked it. That's neat looking. It almost looks like a black walnut coloring. Cool. Something a little bit different. Look at these two pieces stacked, and like I said, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and flip it after that. So now we can see it's going actually further that uh, 
marks from the board. Wow, so that's very uh, neat looking, very unique. And now on this piece it's going much further up. Just uh, halfway now. Well, I've never seen anything like that before. I'm going to get these stacked and flip it. Alright, so I ended up getting uh, two more boards out of this one, actually three, two more boards, so we're going to pull off the top, which is just going to be firewood. These are the last two. I actually got one, uh, looks like about eight quarter left. I'm going to keep for uh, leg blanks or whatever. Maybe a tabletop, thick tabletop. See these last two pieces look uh, looks like we expect for ash. Not uh, quite as exciting as the last uh, last two, so get these stacked up and move on to the next log.
next log, this is the uh, one I just cut was the base, and this one is the next log up, about seven foot long. Um, it was the same size, about 13 on this end, 13 and a half. This side actually has a crotch section. They're actually decent size, uh, about, uh, about 18 inches or so. It's actually uh, a little bigger because of that. So as you can tell that top piece, um, it's actually hard to see the end I started, I was just grazing the surface of the bark, but the log is not uh, sitting level so you can see it came out pretty low on this side here. So. Actually not a, not a whole lot, probably not, not really worth pulling a board off. All right, so let's take a look. There are actually nice pieces here. See that like crotch section up here, got some figure going on. It might be hard to see on the camera, but it's actually red. I like hues of red. It's kind of unique looking. Yeah, nice, uh, nice pieces, this one's split. Hoping the other one. Well, this other one stays intact. The figure down here is uh, pretty wild looking. I think the two two hearts look. Neat. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what we can uh, see what we can make out of these. Other log was unique because of the uh, the markings in it, but this one uh, this one has some figure, which is kind of neat. Four boards from this half. This side had a lot of this half had a lot of branches. You can see, uh, pretty wild looking. I don't think it's as good looking as the other half, but keep pulling boards and find out. Pretty, uh, just okay looking. Up here is kind of neat to have a bark inclusion. Like kind of neat. Yeah, I prefer the prefer the prefer the other half of the tree. So I finished cutting up the first ash tree here. It was uh, 13 boards I got out of it, uh, about 10 board foot each. Uh, for 130 board foot total, um, and ash goes for about 350 a board foot here, so 
it's about four hundred fifty dollars worth uh, dry anyway. Um, but we're into a part two um, with cutting the other log, um, two logs I have left. So uh, stay tuned for that.